My name is Danny Martin, and I am a professor, <laughs> uh, fancy word, at the uh, University of Illinois at Chicago. I teach, I do research, um, all the stuff that professors normally do, but I'm also uh, a husband and a father. So I have a five-year-old son, and we're trying to raise him the right way. Um, and we spend a lot of time doing those two things, the professional life and the per personal life. I think it's getting close to my 30th year of uh, being involved in education, teaching or researching or um, one of those two. Um, I didn't plan on doing this work. I thought I, th thought I was going to be an engineer or a scientist when I was in high school and college and um, was kind of a shy person, actually, personally, and had to eventually teach, work with uh, college students and high school students teach math and that got me really excited, it brought out a different side of my personality in terms of who I was and who I thought I was. And I moved from one direction in life in terms of being an engineer or a scientist to focusing on education. That was back in 1987. So it's been actually a little bit more than 30 years. Um, and I've been doing it ever since, working with elementary students, middle school, high school, community college, universities, parents, um, folks like Omo, Young People's Project, uh, Bob Moses, Aisha Moses, way back in the early 90s. Um, so it wasn't something I planned on doing, but once I got my foot in there and it was kind of um, life calling me to do it, uh, I've been there ever since and I'm committed to it. So I think intuitively we know it's important for kids to get an early start. And you know, for that professional side where I teach math, try to help students learn and research um, on issues of math education. I've always kind of, like I said, intuitively known it's important and tried to make some strong statements about why it's important, you know, for example, with black kids. But it really hit me in terms of the early, early learning when, I, when we had our five-year-old. So I have one son and he was born five and a half years ago and you know, we had to put our heads together to think about how we're gonna educate him to be a, a person in the world. And so education was not just something that the school could do for us and we didn't want the school to do it all for us. We wanted to be able to educate him the way that we thought he should be educated and uh, make him a whole human being, respecting other people. And when you start that path in life, you know, trying to really develop and nurture another person, it takes on a different meaning. So the early part of education for me in these last five, you know, going on six years has really taken on a bigger significance. And so I'm here at, you know, like the Erickson Institute. Um, in my professional life, I'm actually making a turn from what I was doing with middle school, high school, college students towards early learning. And um, again, I'm committed to doing that work. It's really important. I actually still have my uh, report cards from grades four, five, and six in the state of Wisconsin, right over the border here, where my teachers were uh, writing in their little note sections he is going to be a really good math student, or he's going to be an excellent math student. And math was just one of my interests. It was something I liked. I always liked to do well. I like to get that feedback. I like to help my peers. Um, so I kind of knew, but I was interested in other things. I was interested in sports, writing, um, science. And as I got older, other people began to continue to give me those messages. Oh, you're, you're a good math student. And I didn't know any mathematicians, right? You know, I grew up pretty humble. Um, didn't know a lot of engineers, scientists, in fact, didn't know any. But as I got older, people were telling me, oh, you should become an engineer or a scientist. You gotta do this, you gotta do this. And so I started taking all the accelerated math courses and you know, feeling good about myself and I could accomplish the work, get really good grades. And by the time I got to college, or high school, I should say, that message was still there. Oh, you gotta do math and science, you gotta do math and science. So I just kind of signed up. Went to college, um, dived right into it, math, physics, computer science, still with a passion. And then, you know, in your, in your 20s, you, you're trying to figure out what are you going to do for the rest of your life, if you even know. And the thing that was really my passion when I had to make some decisions about going to work after college or continuing to study, I had to really come to grips with, I love math. Right? I really like and love math. And I knew that, you know, by that time. And I didn't want to just turn that into a job, you know, a career. I really wanted to keep thinking and learning. You know, I want to live a life that was, you know, about thinking and learning. And so I decided to go to graduate school. And when I got to graduate school, uh, initially in math, that was the next step. And then um, you learn about that new world. And it wasn't so pleasant. And um, coincidentally, it was a time when I started working with young people um, in summer programs out on the West Coast, 
working with undergraduate students and then that teaching bug, teaching and learning bug caught me. And that's when I said I made that transition from kind of the world of math and science for engineering um, and STEM towards teaching and learning to help people empower, you know, their own lives and, and do what they want to do. So it's always been there, you know, as early as I can remember, eight, nine years old. And I felt like I was good at it. And it wasn't until later that I really knew what I could do with it. You know, I was kind of taking it on blind faith from what other people said, oh, be this, be that, engineer and scientist. But again, I didn't know any engineers and scientists, none in my family for sure. And when I got a chance to um, teach, that's when it changed my life. 